treetop. Wind blows a cradle will rock. Bow breaks a cradle will fall. Down come baby cradle and all. There was an old woman lived in a shoe. Too many children to know what to do. Gave them broth without any bread. Whipped them all and sent them to bed. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a fall. All the king's horses and his men couldn't put Humpty together again. So it is, and so it goes. We recite the pretty prose, sending children off the bed. With images of distress and dread, falling babies, falling eggs, hungry children who are beaten, not enough to fill their heads. How about giants who can't beat them? You might say, Ben, Mother Goose. Better plan. Let's ban the news. Presented by the friendly group of corporate giants who like to feed you plates of fear and hopeless hope. A government they bought and sold. They dress it up. They've got the gravy to fatten you and make you lazy. So it goes. We turn on the TV pros, sending ourselves off to bed with images of distress and dread. Falling markets, rising debt, record profits to corporate heads. Not enough to wake us up. How about giants who will eat us? A toast to Mother Goose. She was trying to tell the truth. For many of those nursery rhymes were tales of ruling power crimes that folks could tell and avoid jail by hiding them as fairy tales. So here is one more little rhyme about the monsters of our time. I smell the fat of a corporate one. Fell off the top of a giant beanstalk. Now in pieces, still as a rock. All the king's horses, all the king's men, couldn't put that so together again. Same thing happened to the rest of his kind. That's the end of this nursery rhyme.